Okay, so we're in 7.3, solving addition and subtraction equations. All right, here is the key to understanding this concept. To solve an operation, use, what is this word in red? Inverse, inverse operation. What does it mean for something to be inverse? It is the opposite. opposite. The opposite. So what is the inverse of addition? Subtraction. What is the inverse of subtraction? Division. Addition. What about multiplication? Division. division and division. Multiplication. We'll learn those tomorrow. So whatever operation we see that is connected to the variable, we are going to do the opposite. And here's our goal. Get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. So how can I get positive 24 to cancel? Well, I do the inverse operation. I subtract 24. Does everybody agree 24 minus 24 equals zero, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna mark a big X through it, all right? I wanna see on your paper written exactly like this with an equal bar and everything. So now I've accomplished what I wanted to. I've canceled out everything on that side, so X is now by itself. But here's my rule. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I do the exact same thing to the other side. And that's my answer, X equals six. Okay, but we're not done yet because our directions on our homework tonight are going to say to check your solution. So I'm going to take what I think is the value for X that makes it true, and I'm going to plug it back into the original. Is it true that 6 plus 24 equals 30? No. Okay, so now I want to see that you have simplified this side. What is 6 plus 24? 30, 30 equals 30. Checks out, box in my checked answer. So on your homework tonight, you will have two boxed in answers. One is the answer, the other one is the checked answer. All right, example one. Now in example one, I have x plus 13 equals 46. My goal is to get x by itself on one side of the equation. So what can I do to get x by itself? How do I get rid of positive 13? You subtract it. But my rule says whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same exact thing to the other side of the equation with an equal bar underneath. So we're writing these vertically. Now I want to visibly show that my 13's cancel and I can clearly see X equals what? 33. 33. But I'm not done because now I need to go back and check my solution. So I'm going to plug in 33 where it went in the original equation. And guys, this is where your calculator, you know, can be beneficial. 33 plus 13 equals 46. This is not my checked answer. I need to simplify this side. Use your calculator. Don't just assume, oh yeah, it checks out. This is a way for you to know for sure that you've got the right answer. If you add 33 plus 13 and it does not equal 46, you know your answer is wrong. Okay? So this is why it's beneficial. What is 33 plus 13? It is 46. Check mark, box answer. Okay? <clears throat> On your homework tonight, the actual answer is two points. The boxed answer is one point on your homework tonight. All right, any other questions? Anything? So now let's look at example two. In example two, what operation is now connected to my variable? Subtraction. Subtraction. So what's the inverse of subtraction? Addition. So how do I get rid of negative 18? I need to add 18. And my rule says whatever I do to one side, I do the same thing to the other. Now I show that my 18s cancel and all I have left is x equals, what's 35 plus 18? Very 
take it. X equals 53. Um, and now, am I done? I go back and I plug in 53 where X is in the original equation. 53 minus 18 equals 35. Now work it out in your calculator. What is 53 minus 18? If it's not 35, you know you got your answer wrong. What is 53 minus 18? 35. 35. So yes, I did get it right. 35 equals 35. Checks out. Box my check the answer. All right, example three. Ooh, what's different about this one? How many terms do you see on the left side of the equation? Three terms now. But wait, is there something that can be combined? What do you think, Deja? 16 and 5. What's 16 plus 5? 21. 21. 21. So now, guys, just one extra step. Rewrite the equation combining your like terms. Now can you solve? Yeah. Go ahead and solve. All right. We're going to subtract 21 from both sides. And A equals 4. But we're not done. We need to go back and check. Is it true that 16 plus 4 plus 5 equals 25. Yep, when I add them all together, it does equal. So you see guys, it's the same thing, except now I'm just combining any like terms on one side of the equation first before I start moving my numbers. Y'all have it written down? What if I had this? What if I had 2a plus 10 plus 3a equals 20? What could I do first? Eyes open. Let's go. What do I do? No, 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 no. What? Okay, yeah, I use 10. Are there any like terms over here that I can combine? 2a plus 3a. What's 2a plus 3a? 5a plus 10 equals 20. Now what do I do to both sides? Subtract 10. Subtract 10. Actually, this is a two-step equation. We'll learn it tomorrow. But what I wanted you to see is combining like terms. Okay. Uh, what if I had, let me do one more similar to your homework tonight. What if I had um, x minus negative 4 equals 6? Try to solve that one. So double negative changes to a positive equals 6. Subtract 4 from both sides. X equals 2. Did you get it? Yes. Did you get 2? All right, now we go back and we plug it in. Is it true that 2 minus negative 4 equals 6? Well, what's minus a negative? It's a positive. So, yeah, 6 equals 6. Would you solve decimals any differently? No, you solve it the exact same, and it shouldn't be an issue because you're using your calculators. I want you to turn in your books to page 328. We're going to be working numbers 1 through 6 all. Your turn now on the bottom of page 328. All right, so what do I do to both sides on number 1? Everybody pay attention. What do I do to both sides? Subtract 8. Very good. Subtract 8 from both sides. T equals 7. Raise your hand if you got it. T equals 7. Andrew, did you get it? All right, now I check. Yeah, that's true. Okay, 15 equals 15. Guys, on your homework tonight, make sure that you show how both sides equal. I'm not going to accept your checked answer unless you show simplified on both sides. Ooh, what about this one? What do I do to both sides? Subtract, Subtract 10. 10 from both sides. 
And what's 4 minus 10? Negative 6. Negative 6. And then when I plug it back in and check, yep, it works out. Uh, whoops. Okay, so n equals negative 6. Anybody get both? Did you get both of those? All right, now let's look at number 3. Now, number 3 is written backwards, but it still doesn't matter. I still solve the side with the variable. How do I get rid of negative 6? I need to add 6 to both sides. 14 equals m. You got that one. All right, now I check. Malcolm, just pay attention. Because I know you, you uh, may not have gotten to that one. All right, number four. Loza, what'd you do to both sides? Very good. Add 10 to both sides. R equals 24. And then I checked. And it, yes, it does check out. All right. Anybody perfect through four? Good job. Manual question? Okay. All right, doing good. Okay, now what about this double negative? Turns into a... Mackenzie, did you change it to a positive? Your double negative? Did you change your double negative to a positive? Yes. Good job. Then what did you do? And what did you get? No. Subtract. Very good. 3.4. So if you forget to change your double negative to a positive, you're not going to do the right operation, are you? You're going to do the wrong one. You're going to end up with 7.8. Okay? So that's why it's very important. Then when we check, yeah, it still works out. 5.6 is equal on both sides. All right, number six, what can I do first before I start moving my numbers? Deja? Ooh, do we add them? Subtract. Subtract them. There's a negative in front of that 1.3. I've got to recognize that's a negative and subtract. Now what do I do to both sides? Sit up. Sit up. Where's your paper? You don't even have, you're not even checking your answers. Xander, I just said your answer or your name on the recording. So if your mom's watching it, she's going to know you weren't paying attention. Yep. All right, subtract 2.1 from both sides. Mm -hmm. S equals 4.7. Who got 4.7? 4.7, very good. Very good. All right, one more example. Uh, this is a word problem. Look now on the... Uh, on page 329 on example four. All right, this is a space exploration example. It says, the Apollo 11 mission lasted how long? Okay, so when I'm setting up an equation, my total goes on one side of the equation, always, okay? So there is kind of this standard or, uh, you know, structure that all equations have in common. The total goes on one side. So if you get nothing else on your homework tonight on number 22, you should at least write an equal sign in your total. That's the easy part. Now, everything on the other side needs to be able to be combined together somehow through addition or subtraction to make up that total. So it says, listen, think about what operation this is going to be. The flight from Earth to Moon lasted how long? Lasted how long? 103 hours. The flight from Moon to Earth lasted how long? 71 hours. And what does it ask you to solve for? How many hours did Apollo 11 spend on the moon so do we know how many hours do we know no it says how many that is my variable m for moon that's why i chose m i don't care what variable you choose there needs to be a variable in your equation what am i missing though my operations so what goes there addition or subtraction So you subtract the hours to get to your total? No, you've got to add them, guys. 
So all three of those parts of the mission together totaled 195.5 hours. Now I want you to solve for M. Uh, so we add them together. We subtract both sides by 174. M equals 21 and a half hours. Who got it? Who got it? Very good. Good job. That's everything you need to know for 7.3.